This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 11. Using a Boolean variable as a flag, we are going to do a challenge that is similar to the last exercise. Yes, I love challenges. But, rather than counting the number of fives in an array, we're going to use a different, interesting programming technique for processing arrays that might prove useful to the future. Okay. Using a Boolean flag. The technique is generally referred to as using a Boolean flag. To understand this idea, think about how some mailboxes work. The flag starts down, and when a person wants, a, wants to let the mail carrier know there is something to pick up, she puts the flag up to notify the mail carrier that there is outgoing mail in the box. We can use a variable to do something similar with when programming, rather than incrementing a count every time we find a 5 in an array, we will use a variable that acts like a flag. We will create a variable before the for loop and assign it to false. Flag is down. Then, as we proceed the array, or, oh, as we are processing the array, if we find a 5, set the variable to true to put the flag up. Here is some pseudo code. Yep. Okay. Notice that there is something, notice that it doesn't matter if we find more than one. It will just keep setting the flag to true. However, if there's no fives, the if statement in the loop will never execute. And so the variable will remain the value it was initialized, which was false. Do this. Implement the pseudocode above in JavaScript. That's what we're writing in. We've written you code that constructs an array of random values and the standard for loop for looping over an array. The output will be no different from the previous exercise, but you should still confirm that your program correctly identifies when a 5 is in the array. Okay, so let's turn this code into code. <laughs> um, I'm going to switch over to blocks. I think it's easier to see. So first we need a variable for our flag. I like declaring variables at the top. It is somewhat standard in programming. Uh, so, a variable for our flag. Ugh. I guess I'll be nice, though, and do this all together. Oh, is it right here? Oh, they, okay, there we are. All right, so your code, if, we need our if. And what are we going to check? Well, just like we did last time, we need to know what are they, they still named it, test array. So remember, our array is randomly being assigned different values. So test array i equals equals... And uh, what do we want to know if it's equal to 5, okay? If you're confused about this, you definitely want to check out these last two sections of the course and my videos on them. But what this is doing, we're going to go through every index of this array. So, oh, and hopefully it's exactly 10. It would be. And we're going to check every index, every part of the array. Hey, does this equal 5? Does this equal 5? And if it does, this is where we reassign. We reassign our variable. And our variable is flag and boolean expression true. Okay. And then flag. Oh, and we already have the display. Let's test. Yep, it's true because there's a five. Let's keep running it till we get a false. Oh, yeah. So no five, so it stays as false. Cool. It can be kind of tricky at first to get the hang of variables and looping through uh, arrays, but awesome. Let's keep going. 